Hello friends, I am Rajneesh and today in this section we shall be understanding how to configure a Linux client to authenticate against an LDAP database and to fetch the passwords from a Kerberos server. So the first question that comes in mind is why do we use Kerberos authentication? Kerberos authentication is used because it is secure mode of authenticating against any of the services and it can provide us single sign-on facility because it is based on tickets so as soon as user enters his credentials he is able to get a ticket granting ticket that can be used to provide to any of the service to get a ticket corresponding to it and use the service for a particular instance of time and the other thing that is to be noted is the password is never transferred over a network in a clear text or in other words it's never transferred because when we are trying to connect or uh, we are trying to connect to a Kerberos server we just provided the username Kerberos server receives the username encrypts the details of the ticket granting ticket with our password and send it to us and if we have a password we are able to decrypt and use the ticket granting ticket which is provided by the Kerberos server so let us see how to configure a Linux client to fetch the user details like user ID, group ID, home directory, G codes and everything from the LDAP database and to fetch the password related informations from a Kerberos database as in the previous section we have already configured a Linux client to authenticate against an LDAP server using TLS mechanism so in this we'll continue with this section and add a Kerberos section to it so the first thing that is to be done is to install the required package which provides Kerberos authentication for PAM services so that is PAM underscore KRB5 and secondly it's the same command auth config TUI which can be used to specify the authentication database so user information will still be fetched from LDAP database so leave it as it is but the authentication or the password details are to be fetched from Kerberos so we will uncheck LDAP authentication and we will check use Kerberos in authentication part so for LDAP we will be using TLS it's the same LDAP server just click on next and uh, just specify the ream in our case the ream will be linuxcbts.com and the KDC server will be Linux uh, kerberos.linuxcbts.com so as of now we have not configured DNS server to resolve this uh, service addresses service records so we can leave them unchecked the three things ream the name of the ream is in capital letters and it's the same as that of the domain name for example our domain is linuxcbts.com so ream name will be in capital letter linuxcbts.com kdc dns name or ip address of the kdc server so kdc server holds all the user databases the password and the principles i'll just let you know what the principle is so after entering these details click on ok and we are done now if we try to log in into this machine using the uh, LDAP username that we had and the password that is uh, 
that is stored in this LDAP database. Username will be rcval and try to log in with its password. We won't be able to. So we are not able to log in into it. The reason being the password is not fetched from the LDAP database. So it is fetched from Kerberos and we need to have a user corresponding to RCVAL and Kerberos database. Let's add a user. Kadmin is a client which is used to connect to the Kerberos server. We connect to the Kerberos admin server using the credentials of root slash admin and its password. So in Kerberos there is a term principal which refers to any entity in the Kerberos ream. This entity could be a service, it could be a user or it could be a host. So as of now we have to add one more principal or one more user. Let's have a look at the principle that it has till now. So list prince is the command that can be used to fetch out all the principles that are currently available. So this is kadmin slash admin, this is corresponding to root. So here we cannot see any user corresponding to rcval through which we try to log in. So rcval user is present in LDAP database but the password is still not present in Kerberos. Let's add a user with some password. So the principal rcval at linuxcbts.com has been created and we have provided it a password as rcval at 123. Let's try to log in into station 9 using the credentials of rcval now. And yes, we are able to log in. So at present scenario we are fetching the details of the users like user id, group id, gcos, home directory, login shell from LDAP database and we are fetching the details of the password, expiry date and the other details from Kerberos server. So we are logging out and we could use this username. And the error message that we are getting is home users rc well this directory is not present. We will be adding this directory in the next session. We will be it will be exported through NFS server. So there is not an issue. We are able to authenticate to this Linux client fetching the user details from LDAP server and fetching the password details from Kerberos server. This is Rajnesh signing off. Thanks for listening. Bye.